Every day we go about our lives, often without a second thought for the celestial giant that makes it all possible. From the moment we wake up to the time we lay our heads to rest, the sun is a constant, unwavering presence. But how often do we truly stop to appreciate this magnificent star that shapes our very existence? Our story begins about 4.6 billion years ago in a dark, dense cloud of gas and dust called a molecular cloud. Within this cosmic nursery, gravity began to work its magic. Pockets of gas and dust started to clump together, growing denser and hotter over time. This region, known as a protostar, was the embryonic stage of what would become our sun. As more material accumulated, the core temperature of the protostar skyrocketed. When it reached about 10 million degrees Celsius, nuclear fusion ignited. Hydrogen atoms began to fuse into helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. This marked the birth of our sun, a main sequence star in the prime of its life. In its early years, the sun was surrounded by a protoplanetary disk of gas and dust. Within this swirling disk, dust grains stuck together, forming planetesimals, which are the building blocks of planets. Over millions of years, these planetesimals collided and merged, eventually forming the planets, moons, asteroids and comets that make up our solar system today. The intense solar wind from the young sun blew away much of the remaining gas in the protoplanetary disk, leaving behind a relatively stable system of planets. The sun's gravity held everything in place, and the solar system began to settle into the configuration we know today. Now, let's take a closer look at the structure of our sun. The sun is composed of several layers, each with its own unique properties and functions. At the core, temperatures reach about 15 million degrees Celsius. This is where nuclear fusion occurs, producing the energy that powers the sun. Surrounding the core is the radiative zone, where energy is transported outward by photons. This process can take millions of years due to the dense plasma in this region. Above the radiative zone is the convective zone. Here, hot plasma rises to the surface, cools and then sinks back down, creating convection currents. This churning motion helps transport energy to the sun's surface. The visible surface of the sun is called the photosphere. This is where sunlight is emitted, and it's the layer we see with our eyes. Above the photosphere lies the chromosphere and the corona. The corona, surprisingly, is hotter than the layers below it, with temperatures reaching up to 1 million degrees Celsius. It's also the source of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that flows out into space. The sun is far from being a static ball of gas. It undergoes cycles of activity that impact the entire solar system. The most well-known cycle is the 11-year solar cycle, during which the number of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections varies. The sun is the primary source of energy for life on Earth. Its light and heat drive weather patterns, ocean currents, and the water cycle. Photosynthesis in plants, which forms the base of the food chain, relies on sunlight. The sun's ultraviolet radiation is both a blessing and a curse. While it helps produce vitamin D in our skin, excessive exposure can cause skin cancer. Thankfully, Earth's ozone layer absorbs most of the harmful UV radiation, protecting us from its full impact. Like all stars, the sun has a finite lifespan. In about 5 billion years, it will exhaust the hydrogen fuel in its core. When this happens, the core will contract and heat up, causing the outer layers to expand. The sun will enter the red giant phase, engulfing the inner planets, possibly even Earth. During the red giant phase, the sun will shed its outer layers, creating a stunning planetary nebula. What remains of the sun will be its core, now a hot, dense white dwarf. Over billions of years, this white dwarf will cool and fade away, ending the sun's story as a faint, cold remnant. Even today, the sun continues to captivate our imagination. It symbolizes life, energy, and the passage of time. Festivals like the solstices and equinoxes celebrate the sun's changing path across the sky, marking important agricultural and cultural events. The sun isn't just a life giver, it's also a powerful source of renewable energy. Solar power harnesses the energy of sunlight to generate electricity, offering a clean, sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. By tapping into the sun's vast energy, we can power our homes, businesses, and even entire cities, moving towards a greener, more sustainable future. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cosmic content. And remember, every time you step outside and feel the sun's warmth, you're experiencing the power of a star that has been shining for billions of years.